there, it's Tank Girl. I'm here at the Qualcomm event for the new Snapdragon Wear 3100. This watch here is a reference design made by Compile, and it's running Wear OS, Google's uh, watch OS. And what's really interesting here is that the Snapdragon Wear 3100, which is advertised here, has its co-processor built in now. And it's tiny, as you can see, here's my finger in reference. This tiny little chip basically runs a real-time OS that allows the watch to run in very low power mode. And so, you know, when you're in interactive mode like this, you get the usual stuff that you would normally run. It's Android, it's high power consumption, interactive, very fast. But when you're running, say, sports mode like this, it's running extremely efficiently because it's only running on this coprocessor here. So that's kind of the big news here. So it's going to improve power consumption and other um, you know, performance features while you're using the watch quite significantly. And that is actually good news. And in many ways, it's like having two watches in one. You have kind of like a pebble, really long battery life watch uh, in certain modes. And then you have this really great Android experience once you start touching the watch and interacting with it. So that's kind of what's going on this uh, here at uh, at uh, the Snapdragon Wear 3100 event with Qualcomm. And, uh, you know, they did announce some new watches. There's a new uh, Montblanc Summit 2 watch that they showed on stage. Unfortunately, they don't have it here. And you just saw the watch. It, it switched over to low power mode just now by blanking the screen and going back. And as you can see, it still looks very, very nice on the display once it's showing because this low power mode still enables full control of the display with, as you can see, continuous complication updates and a sweeping second hand while in low power mode. In this mode, it can go up to about a week on a charge without notification, without connectivity. So big improvements in performance in terms of battery life and in, in this ambient mode, it runs on this tiny little coprocessor. That's basically the takeaway here at the Snapdragon Wear 3100 event in San Francisco. Uh, very exciting stuff. As you know, I'm a big fan of smartwatches. I've got a few of them, and uh, I'm really looking forward to trying out a watch with this uh, architecture. Anyway, so that's it, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. I uh, like the video, tell your friends, and more importantly, don't forget about the podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com is where it's at. Uh, you can subscribe there or on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, everywhere. We're on all the platforms. Mobile Tech Podcast and uh, I'll see you next time with another hands-on or unboxing. Cheers, everybody.